Hi, I wanted to share this project that I was working on tonight. Uh, recently I received this Nintendo DS touchscreen replacement thing that you can normally put in your DS, but you're free to uh, connect it to your own little project here. Um, I bought a uh, breakout kit for that for, uh, from NKC Electronics, and while I was ordering I uh, added in a light dependent resistor so I just threw it in into this project uh, because I wanted to play with it. The uh, touchscreen and the light dependent resistor are connected to the Arduino and that's connected to the laptop and I built a little processing sketch to uh, play around with the touchscreen and uh, this is it. Um, I, I must say that it, it it's quite responsive uh, it didn't take uh, long uh, and uh, didn't take a lot of cursing at all to uh, to get it working. Uh, as you can see, um, it, it reacts quite quickly. Um, I'm drawing uh, uh, separated dots here and uh, you can clearly see that there is spacing in between the dots, so I guess the refresh could be a bit higher, but I, I haven't really test, uh, looked for the limits uh, at all yet. So. I'm looking forward to investigating investigating that a bit further. And um, for the next part, I have to turn away from the screen just for a little bit because I had to use the light-dependent resistor, of course. So I made a little jack-in-the-box. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. So um, <laughs> that was fun. Um, and um, so with the touch screen I can uh, rotate this cube and uh, I mean you can see again it, it, it really is quite responsive um, when I'm watching the screen of my phone uh, it seems to be more laggy than I'm seeing it here in real time so uh, overall I'm actually um, quite happy with this screen and I look forward to ordering a lot more and seeing uh, what fun comes from that um, so this was my little project and uh, thanks for watching.